Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you very much for being on Electrica and for watching. I really appreciate that. Now, this is the capacitor that I used in our previous video that I did a couple of days ago, uh, link in the description. Uh, and uh, I showed you how, uh, you know, a single phase, capa a single phase uh, motor run eh? and also how to change the direction of those single phase motors, okay, by help of this capacitor. So what if this capacitor uh, burn out? Uh, you know, how do you tell that it's faulty, okay? So in this video, I want to show you how to test uh, this capacitor by using two methods. Now, one method, we can use a multimeter uh, to test, to check the capacitance of uh, this motor, I mean, uh, capacitance of this capacitor. And then also, the other method also is uh, we are able to charge, we are able to charge this capacitor uh, by, you know, connecting it to, uh, across SC and then uh, we discharge it because if it's faulty, it won't hold any charge, okay? So let's begin with the, the multimeter. Now my leads are in. Now I know the multimeter you have might be different from mine, but they are probably they will be the same, okay? So mine is now connected uh, in this area here where you see continuity, semiconductors, ohms, and the symbol of a capacitor, okay? But I would now, I can select here uh, until I see a capacitor, okay, here, so I can use that. Now, I told you earlier that this, my, this capacitor here is 10 microfarad. So if we do a te some testing here, we should just get that. So that's uh, 9.76. So that's 9.76 microfarad, which is really close to 10 microfarad. And remember, there is uh, that is of, uh, you know, more or less uh, 5%. Okay. Okay. Once again, uh, 9.77. Okay. Now, when we tested with... Uh, our multimeter, it really showed us that uh, this capacitor is okay because we are able to tell the capacitance. Uh, by the way, that's also the same way you are able to tell the capacitance of your capacitor in case you're not sure or in case the writings have been erased off, okay? All right. Now, the other one is we needed to short uh, to connect SC across these terminals. And by doing that, this method is quite dangerous because you can really, um, you know, electrocute yourself. So you have to take high caution of doing this and this climber, please. Um, if you can't, you're not sure what you're doing, uh, please, you better leave it, okay? And you can also do it on your own risk. All right, Sawa. Okay, now... Uh, Okay, now let's discharge it and see. All right, so you heard the sound and then you saw some sparks. So basically that's how you're gonna uh, test and then know that your capacitor is really fine. We can just do that more, once more. So you have to be super careful as you're doing that. So we're just going to, again, to short it uh, very quick. Okay. That's enough. And uh, before you discharge it, please don't touch these terminals because this is 450 volts. That can be enough to really give you, okay? So that's it. And if you discharge it, now you're, you're okay. You can, you know, uh, touch it, okay? All right, so that's how you you know, you test your capacitor as simple as that. So thanks for watching. I appreciate that. Please don't forget to like and share. And sharing, you only share to those people you think that this kind of content really uh, work for them. Until next time, I'm out.